Is this your first wagon ride? Is yeah. it? No? Yours? <laughs> I've driven before. Yeah. You've, have you been on a I've wagon on ride a before? Yeah, you've been on a wagon. Yeah? Hi. Yeah? These, these horses are special. The breed is called Gypsy Vanner breed. And it's because they're a small draft horse. In, in today's... You've been on a horse? Wagon must be quite a long take, is it? It is, yeah. No, it's not. Were you guys in the parade? Yeah. We oh, really? Out of the 700 horses on Saturday or Friday, our three gypsies were in. Wow. We're only three gypsies. So what do you mean by small draft? Okay, so you know the Clydesdale and the Percherons, the great big ones. Yeah. Um, the gypsies bred this breed to be a smaller draft, anywhere from 13 to maybe 15 hands high. Um, and they used a Dale pony, the Frisian, um, the Clydesdale, and they bred them until they got a very stocky, beautiful, temperament horse. And they were, of course, used to pull their caravans, and they would let their kids crawl all over the horses. And I think that's what brought them to be, just as the Clydesdales are called the gentle giants, for such a big horse, these ones are a smaller version of them. But I think, I think more than anything, they're so, te their temperaments and they've got personality you wouldn't believe for a horse. Um, they love to work, they really love to work. Whether it's pulling, you can ride them. They love to pull slaves. Um, uh, harvesting. These horses have done the harvesting the, the old-fashioned way. So they used to, every year, they they try and participate in the harvesting um, with all the old equipment and all done by horses and, and, and that. Um, they were brought over. In, in Chant is 13 years old and he was six months when he was brought over from England. So they tried to get a really good sample of what the breed was over there to bring into North America. And Shoda was one of the big boys at, at six months, so he came over. And um, and traditional black and white is the coloring with all the feathering. Mm -hmm. So the same with the Clydesdale. They have the feathering on the hoofs, their tails are just so thick, they're mean. You can actually, on some of them, almost reach the ground. When, when they're not used for work, when they're used for show, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, but you can do anything. They, they, love to, they love to run. They love just to sit and be with the other horses. They're not a... They're very social animals, and they, they love other horses to be with. Um, yeah, so it's just... Uh, they're beautiful horses. They, they are. They are, yeah. yeah. How, uh, how old are these fellas? So, Enchant is, um, is now 13, and like I said, he was brought over from England at six months. Shoda is seven, and he was born in Kentucky and was brought up. And a lot of them now are trying to get a little more color of the breed. So it, traditionally when you see a black and white one, you think it's the gypsies. But now they're pretending to be palomino, coloring, um, blues, some reds. Yeah, so I mean, there's amazing 
absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. When you get off of the wagon and you look at Enchant, his black spot near his bum shows a little boy praying. And I, when I brought, when I got him, I did not notice that for probably years until all of a sudden I saw him from a distance. And there's this gorgeous image, if you look, of a little boy praying. So it's, it's really neat when you can see things like that. And his temperament, he would never step on you. If you ever crawled underneath him, he's been, he's been used to anything. The girls used him in 4-H. Um, they will never try and step on you. They'll go out of their way so that they don't ever, ever hurt you. If you shift on them, they try and shift so that you never fall off. Well, they're really intelligent. They, they are. They're not... <laughs> oh, when you say hands high, what, how many inches would a hand be? Yeah, four inches to a hand is, is what they do. And in chance it's uh, four three. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen three. And uh, short is fourteen two. So a little bit of difference. But they're still considered teenagers at this age. How long can they live for or the average lifespan of those? That have... they, they could live for thirty. Really? Easy thirty. Yeah. That's, that's a good life span for a horse. Yeah, or e even longer. It, it just depends upon the environment. I did ask yeah, I've heard it times high, but I never did know how much yeah, the four inches. really was there. Yeah. There's yeah. so much oh. to learn, yeah. yeah. It'll be a treasured video to have uh, to watch. Oh, good. <laughs> how long are you running today, too? Right now. Yeah. We'll finish the line. I remember when I was a, a kid, I lived in Colorado Springs with my uh, family. Mm -hmm. My sister and I, we used to go horseback riding at the Garden of the Gods down in Colorado Springs. Oh, it's beautiful down there. I bet. Oh. Beautiful rim rocks and yeah. everything down in Colorado Springs. The scenery is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, what an experience. I'm just so pleased we can bring this into the city for, for people, especially the kids. I haven't done this since uh, I, I used to attend the Balzac breakfasts a few years ago before they built that shopping mall. Yeah. They used to do the same around the field after yeah. they had uh, the, the wagon rides. Wagon rides. Yeah. But you'll probably, this is, you'll probably be one of the very few that have had a, a ride with the gypsies. Yeah. It is, you know, so now you'll know what they look like. I'll probably post a video up on YouTube later. They're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful horses. Find and they turn so fast, watch this. Such a quick turn.